Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. Alright guys, so we have some really good news regarding Verizon. The link for this article will be down in the description below. So, Verizon is debuting 5G Ultra Wideband coverage in North Dakota. So 5G Ultra Wideband is now available to Verizon customers and primarily rural communities throughout North Dakota. So, this is as of Tuesday morning, which is today, June 27th. That uptick in speed is because Verizon has begun to roll out its 5G Ultra Wideband service across North Dakota, the company announced via press release on Tuesday. The release stated that the 5G Ultra Wideband coverage brings power and performance comparable to a wired broadband internet connection to customers' pockets. So among the tasks made by possible by 5G Ultra Wideband, the release said are downloading huge documents, streaming movies in high definition, audio and video, and of course, high quality games, video chats, video conferencing, FaceTime calls, all the good stuff that you can do with super fast, reliable 5G ultra wideband and strong internet connection. So according to Verizon's website, the company was the first in the world to roll out 5G connectivity back in April uh, 3rd, 2019. When service began in Chicago and Minneapolis, the company has steadily rolled out 5G and 5G ultra wideband since then. So on March 7th, Verizon announced that its ultra 5, 5G, uh, its 5G ultra wideband network was then available to 200 million Americans. This was back in March. In announcing the milestone, Verizon promised to continue expanding coverage in suburban and rural areas as well. So since then, we've been seeing a lot more of this, right? Verizon has been expanding to multiple cities and states, <clears throat> pardon me, including Iowa, Nebraska, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Indiana, South Dakota, and Texas. And according to a message that was that's from their uh, vice president of engineering and operations for Verizon, his name is Dean Brower. Dean says that our engineers are working tirelessly to bring an exceptionally reliable 5G network experience to more areas in North Dakota. He also says that this technology will not only bring faster speeds and more reliable connectivity, but expanding 5G service into more areas of North Dakota will unlock new opportunities for innovation and economic growth, which um, 100% I agree. If Once these businesses and schools uh, get access to higher, higher speeds and uh, better access, stronger signal, it will definitely help the economy within that area, right? Businesses will be able to function quicker. It'll move things along. Schools and students will be able to experience uh, higher education. They'll be able to move projects along. So it's, it's great. Um, cities and towns that are now having access to this 5G ultra wideband include Jamestown, Williston, Valley City, Wafeton, Devil's Lake, Crosby, Columbus, Flaxton, Sherwood, Mohall, West Hope, Willow City, Belcourt, Rolla, Starkweather, Anamoose, Velva, Newtown, Kildare, Beach Center, New Rockford, Gackle, Ashley, Grafton, Wafeton, which, uh, didn't they just say that? Yeah. Uh, Drayton, Buxton, Ariska, Foreman, and Loden. So I guess there's a discrepancy there. They're announcing Wafeton twice. But anyways, that's a lot of cities. In North Dakota that will be getting this so that's that's pretty big okay that's a nice nice way to go about it all right and then it says the release did not indicate that Fargo Bismarck Grand Forks and Minette were included in the debut however a service coverage map on Verizon's website showed that some areas of Fargo Bismarck Grand Forks and West Fargo do have 5G ultra wideband coverage Minot was not shown to have any 5G ultra wideband coverage. All right, so um, in the article, you'll see that there will be a map that you guys can kind of look at. 
This is a screenshot that depicts wireless uh, coverage map for North Dakota as of today, Tuesday morning, June 27. So that could update within a couple of days if they do anything different, but this would be as of today. Verizon is obviously using C-band spectrum, right? Um, so what's going to happen now is not only will North Dakota get 5G ultra wideband, but they're also going to get increased access to Verizon's fiber connections at many cell sites to carry 10 times more data than before. So more continuing, continuing on with Verizon's 5G build out as they promised. Um, like I said, in a recent video, I think they're definitely playing catch up. Um, I'm seeing a lot of their build outs. So I don't be surprised within a couple of months or so or towards the end of the year when 5G coverage is recalculated, we might start to see some numbers change. We know that, like I said, T-Mobile has been leading the game right now, but I think we might start to see some changes if Verizon continues down this path. They've been steadily upgrading many cities and states, which is excellent for them, right? So they're they're doing something right. This is one thing that they've been doing lately that I'm seeing a lot of and I'm very impressed to report to you guys the you know the increase in deployments is real. Is it's definitely real. They've definitely turned it up a notch to get deployments out to many of you. So great news coming from Verizon. This is very big for them. You know, they're reaching more and more customers which ultimately will satisfy many consumers and also help them become a bigger 5G network and hopefully in return for them will net them a much better profit towards the end of the year, right? More people will be signing up. So I think it's an all around win for Verizon and consumers. All right, guys, link will be down in the description. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you want with someone else that maybe enjoys wireless updates and news. You know, that's what we like to do here, just talk about the carriers, you know, keep it honest. If you guys have any questions, I do my best to answer. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.